Hey, this is Weed, Fitness for Life. We're going to be talking about movement, activity, and fitness, specifically related to biomotor abilities and the planes of human movement. The first topic that we're going to be talking about, the biomotor abilities, are listed here, speed, strength, flexibility, endurance, and coordination. And as you look down here in the corner, the first one is speed, and that is related to not only Usain Bolt crazy fast running speed, but it can also be used for segment speed, club head speed, tennis racket speed for martial artists that would also be kicking and punching and protecting for wrestling. That would be the ability to move uh, quickly for a double leg takedown or something similar to that. The next one, strength, is pictured here, and that has a person doing a split jerk. And obviously there is weight room strong, but there's also strength that is related to specific activities. Being able to carry your groceries inside would require strength. Many sports have specialized strength, and just because you're strong in the weight room does not mean that you're going to have success there. Flexibility pictured in the middle here with a person doing the sit and reach. There are different types of flexibility. That is the range of motion of a body joint. And we have static, which would be the traditional stretching, best done after activity. There's also dynamic, which we'll see in our warm up, such as arm swings and leg swings and hurdle walkovers. And flexibility helps with movement. The next one is endurance, which is pictured in the lower left part of the picture. And endurance, unfortunately, has a picture of a distance runner. And everyone thinks, or most people think, that the only type of endurance there is, is running. But walking up a flight of stairs requires endurance. Going bowling and bowling three or four games is going to require endurance. Golfing 36 holes in a day requires endurance. As a former track and field coach and athlete, there are also speed endurance so just don't think of running there's a variety of items heck if you've ever even been to a lecture where it's the professor just talks the entire time and your hand and your forearm are smoked at the end of that that requires endurance the last one is coordination there's not a specific picture for that but that would be related to the ability to move in a variety of different ways the proverbial walking and chewing bubble gum at the same time is a part of coordination. And uh, we'll see some of these elements in our warm up again, going from simple to complex. There are three planes of human movement. The first one is frontal, and you'll see that listed as coronal on the diagram. That splits the body into front and back sections, and that will be lateral movement to the side. Think of your shortstop in softball or baseball doing jumping jacks. All require frontal pain, plane activity. Sagittal divides the body into right and left sections, and that would be forward and backwards, such as running forward, running backwards, skipping forward, skipping backwards, galloping forward, galloping backwards, and a variety of other activities. And then the transverse plane is the last one that divides the body into the upper and lower sections. For some activities, martial arts and striking sports and throwing sports, you want to maximize the ability to use a transverse plane. If you're involved in running, you want to minimize that. If you're involved in golf, then you're only looking to optimize one side of the transverse plane. The ultimate goal in your warm up and your exercise and activity is to move in all three planes of movement equally well, and also hit all five of the biomotor abilities, speed, strength, flexibility, and coordination. If you recall, we talked about physical literacy. And this meme here kind of says what unfortunately happens in our country. There are a lot of people who go do a workout, whether online or at group fitness or somewhere else, and they think it's a really good workout because they feel miserable afterwards. Actually, what they might be doing is increasing the risk of injury and damaging their ability to recover. If you have any questions about the presentation, please go to the discussion board and write those down or type those and see if your classmates can answer or I will answer them later on. Remember, move well, move often. Thanks.